It's only right. Huh? That's right, y'all. It's only right to start off by giving a big round of applause and congratulate the lucky winner of the God of War Ragnarok full game free giveaway last month. Let's go! Nothing. You're breathing kind of funny. Just got a little gas or something. <laughs> Big thanks to those who have entered the giveaway and also supported this channel. There'll be more free giveaways to come in the near future. What the? What the hell happened to the lights? Man, I got to the end of the month to pay my light bill. You know, all I ask is to be treated fairly. That's all. Damn, Morton. All I want to do is play. But, no. You just keep blocking me from entering any of your giveaways. Morton, you salty mother... Morton, I know it's you that cut off the power. Stop playing, man. First, it was the Horizon Forbidden West giveaway. Look, I just, I thought it wouldn't be fair to my subscribe. Whoa, 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 whoa. Flashlight. I thought you said you couldn't find the axe when I wanted you to return it back. Found it. Oh, come on, come on. Where did he go? Next came the good old fifty dollar digital gift card giveaway. Look, man. Not for one, but two winners. Two winners. <laughs> Wanna know what that adds up to? I'm sorry. One hundred dollars. Wow. And this is after I asked for twelve dollars so I could take my date on a special night out to Applebee's. Ladies go crazy over that two for 20. But my night didn't end out so well. You wanna know how my night ended? No, not really. Guess. One word. What? Brazzers. Ah! Shoot. Come on, where is it? Look, damn it! Let's talk about this, psychopath. Then, <laughs> you just did a God of War Ragnarok full game free giveaway. Man, you are a generous son of a bitch, aren't you? Generous to everyone but me. There's more giveaways to come, I swear. You know, <laughs> I'm getting tired of hearing you say that. Sick and tired. Tired and sick. To the point where I think you ran out of chances for me to give you. So you know what? Come on. Where is he? People are gonna think I'm leather face when I'm done with you. No! Yo! Yo! Snap out of it!
Oh, 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 oh. Huh? I was busy telling you how I can't wait to see what you're going to unbox today. And I hope you have a terrifying... <gasps> I hope you have a terrific time doing this video. Oh. I was looking for this. I was planning on making some sandwiches. You want one? <laughs> and oh, congratulations to the winner. Lord, make the people say, yeah. Make your heart beat like, come on. Come on. Make the people say, yeah. Make ill beats like, come on. Lord, make the people say, yeah. Make your heart beat like, come on. Make the people say, yeah. Make ill beats like, Lord, make the people say, yeah. Make your heart beat. What up? What up? What up? It's your boy Lord back in with another unboxing. How oh, Lord? Shout out to all my subscribers out there, and in case you got any haters, I need to do one thing. Fix your face! Because tonight, we're going to be unboxing the Callisto Protocol Collector's Edition. That's right, y'all. This is a survival horror video game developed by Striking Distance Studios and published by Crafted. This game is also directed by the famously well-known Glenn Schofield, who's behind creating the classic Dead Space series, which many gamers are still talking about to this day. This game takes place on Jupiter's moon, which is Callisto, in the year 2320. You play as a protagonist named Jacob Lee who was sentenced to prison. The prisoners become infected by an unknown disease which transforms them into these hideous looking creatures. While killing monsters, Jacob will discover dark secrets in this prison facility. You'll investigate on each level while solving puzzles and grabbing resources. This game has a mixture of horror and action with a heavy amount of gruesome detail like blood, guts, gore, decapitation, and mutilation. So you know ready to unbox this. So, let's put it in yapping. Enough of this chit chatting. Let's get started with unboxing, y'all. Let's go. We'll begin by looking at the box art. On the front, you'll read the title of the Callisto Protocol. Below is an image of the protagonist, Jacob Lee, wearing his armor suit, kneeling on both knees while holding his weapon, with a facial expression as if he witnesses trouble ahead. Further down in the bottom right corner are the logos for Striking Distance Studios and the publisher, Crafting. Behind Jacob is a background scenery of the prison facility located on Callisto, Jupiter's moon, which you'll see on the front and both sides of the box sleeve. On the back, you'll read the physical and digital contents that are included in this collector's edition. Once you remove the sleeve of the collector's box, you'll see amazing artwork. On each side, close up are the heads of the infected prisoners. If this is not the best, this has got to be one of the best artwork I've seen on a collector's box. And on top, you'll see the Striking Distance Studio logo, and you'll read the Callisto Protocol Collector's Edition. Once we open the box, first thing we'll show is the UJC and Outerway collectible pins. Next is the Steelbook display case. Next is the Callisto Protocol Sketchbook, which gives you a little sample of the concept art on the characters that you'll come across in the video game. What comes along with it is a thank you letter from the director himself, Glenn Schofield. Of course, we have the physical copy game disc. And finally, we're gonna put together the statue of Jacob Lee battling a biophage. The details that you'll find is unbelievable for a video game collector's edition statue. I'm just simply amazed by this. The sculpt work, the paint job, all makes it hard for me to stop looking at this statue. By far, the quality in the statue is noticeable and you can tell that Striking Distance Studios wanted to take creating the statue as serious as they did creating the game. Okay, so there you have it folks. You're unboxing for the Callisto Protocol Collector's Edition. Digital content included are Retro Prisoner Skins, the Callisto Protocol Digital Comic Book, and a Season Pass, which the team at Striking Distance Studios has already revealed six months of content to come starting February 7th, 2023. Physical contents included are two collectible pins, the Callisto Protocol Sketchbook, a Steelbook Display Case, 
a physical day one edition game disc, and last but not least, included inside is the main attraction, a statue of Jacob Lee, the protagonist, battling a biophage. Now what I love about this statue is not only the great details that it possesses, but also the quality. When it comes to holding this statue, you'll notice it has a little bit of weight to it because it's made out of polysteel. Not like many other statues in collector's editions that are made out of cheap PVC. So this statue is not that fragile at all. I'm amazed by the time and effort that they put into this statue to make it terrifying and gruesome looking. So I have no regrets adding this to my gaming collection. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I did unboxing this collector's edition. And if you did enjoy watching this video, hit the like button and share this video. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when I drop the next video. And if you're new to this channel, be sure to subscribe and follow me on Twitter. Now, always remember, continue to do what you love as long as you love what you do. Now, I hope you all take care and be safe out there. Oh, Lord, have mercy. I just want to play. Oh, no, I've seen enough horror movies to know what happened to the black dude. How about this bitch? Lord, make the people say. Make your heart beat like. 7 up, make the people say. Make ill beats like. Lord, make the people say. Make your heart